The Fit Nation, welcome back to your Monday motivation. Happy holidays. This is the holiday workout edition. We are so excited that you were joining us today. Go ahead and get settled in. Grab your towel, grab your water, grab your water rather. Um, any type of resistance that you may have available that you would like to scale up on any of these resistance-based uh, workout movements, go ahead and grab any of those and settle in. If you're new to the program, welcome. Today, uh, we have a cardio and resistance-based workout for you geared to strengthen your, your full body. So it's targeted for your full body. Uh, I'm joined, first off, I'm actually, I'm joined by my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you, ma'am? Hi, good morning, Roy. I'm doing good. <laughs> I can't awesome. believe it's Christmas week. It's crazy. It's here already. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. I know. I know the year has just uh, challenged us in many ways, but it's so awesome. This is actually the second Monday left in the year 2020. So I'm excited uh, to finish off the year strong. I hope you all, all are as well. Again, if you're new to the program, Welcome to BFIT Live. We host a BFIT, a live workout for you every Monday here. Uh, we have our programmed strength, resistance, and cardio-based workout of programmed of 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We will go through four different rounds, and each of those four rounds, you will perform four different exercises. I will demo the exercises for you before we get started. We will go through some dynamic stretching to get warmed up, to get the body and the mind prepared and ready to work. And then we will jump right into the workouts for just under 30 minutes uh, in total of a, a full body strength conditioning workout. So again, welcome to BFIT Live. And uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, go through these workouts for you, uh, for what we have today. So today we have a dumbbell snatch to overhead Y extension. That's gonna be exercise number one and I'll follow this up with a demo. Exercise number two is gonna be a dumbbell wide grip row. Exercise number three will be an alternating staggered overhead squat. So you're really uh, looking at targeting that lower body and that upper body for that shoulder. And exercise number four, we are into some oblique and core action with side planks. And if we really wanna spice things up, we'll add in a leg abduction. So let me run through a demo for those four exercises and then we will jump into some dynamic stretching. Again, we are on 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. So let's jump into exercise number one. I'll demo this for you so that way there are no surprises. Uh, go ahead and grab any resistance. If you don't have any resistance, make a strong fist here. Start off light with this movement because uh, we are pushing overhead. So if anything, any type of weight that you can press overhead comfortably is what I would suggest to, uh, to grab as far as resistance goes. So we are going to <clears throat> grab this resistance. Our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. We are gonna grab our weight or our hands down to our ankles here. So as if you're performing a movement from the floor you are going to, let's break this up into two parts here. You're going to deadlift here, bringing those hips forward, engaging your, your uh, glutes while raising the weight up into a Y, nice and tall Y position here. So take a nice strong stance. We are hinging at the hips, driving this weight up to our hips, up to our chest and overhead to a big Y position. Control this movement back down and pick up the tempo as you feel more comfortable. Again, start off light with this one, at least for the first round to get the movement going. But again, shoulder stance, shoulder width on your feet placement, soft bend at the knees, hinging at the hips here, weights down to your ankles, exploding up into a big overhead Y, okay? Again, recommend that you start off light or with no weight, make nice strong fists to at least for the first round uh, it is meant to be a cardio-based movement, so it is a fast-paced tempo uh, instead of an overhead press like we would a shoulder press with heavier weight. A, uh, okay, so exercise number two, we are jumping into dumbbell wide grip rows. Again, we're going to engage that lower body, but we are activating that rear, uh, rear delt here, so you're the back of your shoulder, and your mid to upper back in your traps here. You're going to grab resistance. It's not needed. 
But what you, we want to do is have a soft bend at those knees, hinge slightly at the hips here. <clears throat> Grab my weight here. And we are going to pull into a wide grip. So our arms should be making a 90 degree bend here, activating those rear shoulders, mid to upper back and your traps. That's where you want to feel this movement here, okay? Third is an alternating staggered overhead squat. Now we can break this up into two different movements here, uh, alternating staggered. So again, the good thing about alternating, about a staggered stance is that most of our weight, 90% of our weight is gonna be up on that forward leading foot, okay? Our rear foot is gonna be just a few uh, inches behind that heel. So it's a nice compact movement here. So most of our weight is on that forward, uh, that forward leg here. So a heel to toe on our foot placement, and you also want shoulder width apart on that foot placement. We're gonna drop down to where that knee tracks over our toe. So our hips are gonna drop down into a deep squat and extending back up, driving through that front heel and through those hips, okay? We're gonna alternate left leg forward, right leg back. Compact movement here, dropping those hips down and exploding up. So versus the lunge where we have a nice extension on that rear leg, tuck this rear foot in nice and compact, dropping down to where you feel most of that weight on that forward foot. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do that overhead extension here, I have a, a small plate here, same position with our feet, same position with our hips. We hold our weight overhead. It could be a med ball, it could be uh, a weighted object, it could be a plate. We're gonna just hold this extension overhead to activate our shoulders our back and get a little bit more out of this movement here while performing that nice, tight, compact, staggered squat. That's gonna be exercise number three. And exercise number four, we're jumping down onto the ground here for that side plank, for that side plank. <clears throat> so important thing to note here, our elbow is gonna be directly underneath our shoulder. We're gonna make a relatively straight line here as we lift up those hips from our head down to our ankles, okay? Engaging that core, engaging those obliques on the side. Again, we're here for 40 seconds, okay? And if we want to scale things up, we can extend that top leg and you'll feel that activation in your abductors here, right here on the outside of your hip and your glute. So not only do we wanna keep a straight line while we're up, from the uh, profile, but also be mindful of your straight line from the top view here, okay? Try not to come down into a U or a V position, but a relatively straight line. So we'll do <clears throat> side plank to close it out. And that's gonna be our holiday workout for today. Let me grab some water here. We'll jump into some dynamic stretching to get the mind and body moving and then into our workout. All right, team. Again, welcome to BFit Live. We have four exercises for you that we just went through. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, and one minute of rest in between each round. All right, let's get started here with some dynamic stretching, team. All right, quad dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg back, grab it with that right hand. Left hand is gonna extend overhead. We wanna push those hips forward, feeling that stretch in our hip flexors. Also, while we raise that arm, you can feel some mobility work and some blood flowing to those shoulders because we have a lot of shoulder activities going on for this workout. We'll do each of these dynamic stretches for roughly 30 seconds. So move through these at your own pace while we are on this specific movement. Try and feel out your body. See where your body and your mind is meeting you today. All right, reverse lunge and reach up next. We are at the top of the mat here, if you will. We will lunge, reverse lunge back. Nice reverse lunge and an overhead reach. To that same forward leg side. You'll get some blood flow into those lower legs here, into your lats as you overhead stretch working on some core activation, some balance. 
hips as we move through these. Trying to get warm, trying to get ready to work. Last one here, we go into some lateral lunges, all right? Feet are more than shoulder width apart here. Nice wide stance. We wanna go ahead and shift our body over to our right and to our left, keeping that chest up. Nothing too aggressive. We just wanna feel a little bit of a stretch into our inner thigh here. Get some blood flow to our legs, our quads. Get that heart rate elevated just a little bit more. Again, I hope everyone had a great weekend. <sighs> and I hope we are ready to work. Let us know where you're watching from today. Hip circles up next. Left leg out, left leg in. Right leg out, right leg in. Good, good, good. Be mindful of your breathing as you go through these warm ups and through the workout. I'll try. I'll be mindful to help cue on breathing techniques as well. Last one here. All right, team. Let's go into some arm circles here. Warm up these shoulders a little bit more. Just a few more medium circles here for about 20 seconds. Go ahead and start off small and go larger. Get that rotator cuff, some blood flow again, to that shoulder. Let's go ahead and reverse. We'll go backwards here. Nice strong stance. And from here, let's go into some hinge reaches here. We're gonna take a nice uh, soft bend at the knees. Arms are gonna be extended nice and high here. We're going to hinge forward about 45 degrees here, pushing those hips forward and back up top. Good. We're gonna go ahead and warm up that lower back here with that hinge, pushing those hips back to the wall while those arms are extended overhead. Biceps are by your ears. Just a few more of these. Three, two, one. All right, team. Arms are feeling loose. Have some blood flow in them already. Let's get to work. Let me go ahead and set my timer. Let's go ahead and grab water, grab that towel. And again, if you're just joining us, let us know where you're watching from. It's so nice to see the community from all over. Uh, drop a comment on where you're watching from, where you're working out from. Um, leave a note on supporting one another, encouraging words. That's always nice to see from teammates. <sighs> Let's see here. All right, timer. Let's not add any extra time <laughs> to this workout. All right, dumbbell snatch to overhead Y extension is going to be our first movement, and we are going to start in 10. Again, if you don't have any weight, let's go ahead and run through this first round and learn it. Second round, we'll own it. Two, one, here we go here, dropping down towards those ankles, bringing up to your chest and overhead to your shoulders, big Y position, and then control that movement back down, okay? Good. And as soon as you can master this movement, feel comfortable with this movement, go ahead and speed up the tempo. 15 seconds left on the clock. Good. You'll feel that stretch in your hamstrings as you go down. Eight more seconds. That extension up, your biceps, your shoulders activating. Three, two, one. Time. Good job. <clears throat> All right, 20 seconds to rest here and we will jump into some wide grip rows. Again, we are hinging at the hips here. 90 degree bend on that elbow. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Feet are shoulder width apart here. Soft hinge at the hips. 
pushing those hips backward and we are squeezing at the top here. Again, our target is gonna be our rear delts here. So the back of our shoulders, you can feel this in your traps to mid and upper back. You wanna keep that head neutral. 15 more seconds of work here. When I say neutral, I don't look up. I don't want you to look down. Keep that neck, that head in line with your neck, relatively straight line with your spine down to your hips here. Five more seconds of work. Three, two, one. All right, good work team, good work. Again, 20 seconds of rest here and we will jump into that alternating staggered overhead squat. Again, heel to toe is gonna be our foot placement here. Most of our weight is gonna be up on that leading front foot here in four, three, two, one. We can focus on just the squat here. Again, alternating left foot forward, right foot forward, dropping those hips down first. So it's compact movement, but you're gonna feel most of that weight on that forward quad, okay? That's where you wanna feel most of your weight here. 20 seconds of work left. Keeping that chest up. Good, good, take your time with this one. Really work on driving through that heel. Again, with most squat movements, you wanna stay on that heel. Three, two, one, time. All right, 20 seconds of rest. And we are jumping into some ab work here. All right, let me lower this here. Eight more seconds of rest. Five, four, three, two. And we're working here, team. We're gonna stay for the full 40 seconds here. And then the next round, we will jump over to the opposing side. So 40 seconds here, sounds long, but I know you can do it. We're gonna challenge ourselves <laughs> since it is the holiday workout. <laughs> We're gonna go into this week feeling strong, 12 more seconds left. Again, that elbow is underneath your shoulder, relatively straight line here. Five more seconds, three, two, one, time. <laughs> awesome job, awesome job. That right side, I was on my right side. Wow, my right oblique is really firing up on me. I can feel that working. <laughs> Good job, awesome work. We have 45 seconds of rest and then we will jump into our round two. Now's a great time, again, to hydrate, towel off, push around uh, some space. If you need a little bit more space, go ahead and do that. But the good thing about these programmed workouts is that myself, uh, even though I'm outside, Sergeant Barry is indoors. They are programmed to not take up a lot of space. So uh, as long as you have uh, the amount of height that you are and you're laying down, if you have that amount of space for you, um, uh, they're, 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 you can do these workouts. So 10 more seconds on the clock here. I'm gonna add some resistance for myself for the dumbbell snatch to overhead Y extension. First round we learn it, second, we, second round we own it in two, one. Here we go, team. Let's go ahead and soft bend at those knees, hinging at the hips, driving that weight up and into that Y position. All right. Again, we wanna work on keeping our hips back, our flat, our back flat, and our head, we want to track with the hinge movement. 12 more seconds here. You should feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings, as well as your biceps, your shoulders. Two, one, and time. Good job. There you are, Sergeant Barry. I see you. Good job, good work. All right, keeping with that resistance, we are going into that dumbbell wide grip row. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, soften at the knees, hinging at the hips, and we are rowing here. Nice squeeze at the top. Again, we should feel this in the back of our shoulders, our traps, mid to upper back is the target area. Okay. Good job, good job. Take a nice strong stance with those feet. 
Engage the core, engage your glutes. Push those hips back, five more seconds. A slow five, three, two, one, <laughs> and time. Good job. <laughs> 20 seconds of rest here. And we are into that staggered overhead squat. I'm gonna grab my gallon of water and I'm gonna keep this overhead while I perform the squat in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Remember that heel to toe foot placement, driving those hips down first, the compact movement here. Again, about 90% of your weight should be on that forward foot, driving off through that heel. Good, 18 more seconds left. Take your time with this one. 15, keeping that back nice and straight. Keep that head gaze, gazing forward. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. Y'all went overhead with that one. You can feel the shoulder activation, but your quads should be burning here. 10 more seconds left. And you're jumping into that side plank. This time, let's go ahead and alternate directions here. If you run your right, let's move over to our left and vice versa. We're up in two, one, and time. Again, we're here for 40 seconds, 40 seconds of work. We are ending our second round here, nice and strong. Keep that relatively straight line from your head down to your feet, not only from the forward, position, but also from the aerial view. Try and keep that straight line here. That's what we want, 12 more seconds. Keep it tight, eight, seven, five more seconds, three, hold it, two, one, five. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job, we'll stay, stay on the floor for a second, catch our breath, <laughs> grab that water. Where are we, where are we coming in from? Where are we watching from? Let us know, let us know. It is, fortunately it's nice and sunny today over here. I hope you, uh, hope everyone's safe and not working out in snow. <laughs> 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 but again, leading up to our holiday season, it's, it's nice to be able to start your day off on the right track. I, I know for me personally, it helps starting my day off with a workout to keep my mind in the right in the right state of mind. Okay, rather. Eight more seconds of rest here, and we're jumping into that dumbbell snatch with that big Y extension. In three, two, one, dumbbells up. Here we go, team. Soft bend at those knees. We always want to keep a soft bend on our knees to so take a little pressure off those joints. We are bending over, pushing those hips back to the wall, good. Exploding up to those heels, driving up to those heels, bringing that weight up with us and extending overhead. 13 more seconds left here, good. 10 more seconds. Five, four, last rep. And time, good job. Sergeant Barry, you're making this look easy. Fake <laughs> it how you make it, right? <laughs> oh, you're, you're making it look good. You're making it look easy. <laughs> Three more seconds left here, and we will go into that wide grip row. All right, team. Here we go. We're working 40 seconds on the clock here. Again, soft bend at the knees, hinging at the hips. Wide grip row. Again, we want to make that 90 degree bend with our elbow, squeezing at the top. Third round here. So if you want to add in a pulse or a hold at the top for one count, let's go ahead and do that to scale up. Good. 15 more seconds here. Nice. Keeping that back flat, head in a neutral position. Five more seconds of work here. Three, two, one, and time. Good, good. 
Looking strong, team, looking strong. Staggered overhead squat. In five seconds here. Lifting up that weight overhead if you choose. And we're working here. Remember, nice compact stance here. Heel to toe on our foot placement. Good, dropping those hips down as if you were squatting. Good, 22, 21 more seconds here. Nice, nice work here. And if you needed to add in from a chair here, go ahead and try raising from the chair. This is where we are at. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Good, time. <laughs> Good job, good job team, good job. <clears throat> Back to that side plank, our favorite one. I know, get those core, get that core firing. All right, we're up in five, four, three, two. Back to my original side and time. Let's think about anything other than being in a side plank right now. <laughs> think about your plans for today. Thinking about how we're gonna, how we are going to dominate today. I know it's early for us here. 15 more seconds. Focus on your breathing. Nice deep breaths here. Eight more seconds. Keep that core tight. Squeeze those glutes. Three, two, one. Time. Good job. <laughs> Those are not easy. Those are not easy, team. Side planks. So it's a great addition to the regular low or high plank that we are usually doing here in some variation. The high plank, this is our low plank, and then we jump into our side plank. So again, each one of those has a purpose of targeting different parts of your core, strengthening either your, your frontal or your oblique here. So good work here, 25 seconds of rest on the clock left. I'm gonna grab some water myself. 15 seconds on the clock. All right, team. We are coming up on that last and final round to round out our BFIT Live today. We're up in three, two, one. All right, team, here we go. 40 seconds of work here. Let's try and pick up the tempo. If we can, let's make this round our best round. Now that we are pros with three rounds under our belts. Good. Good work here. 18 more seconds left. Again, let's move with purpose. Try and focus on that form still. 10 more seconds. Driving that weight up through, to our chin and up and overhead. Two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, team. Good, good. How are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> Feel free and keep moving if you need to. Dumbbell wide grip roll coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, let's work here. Soft bend at those knees, hinging at the hips, squeezing that weight back, 90 degree bend at our elbows for that wide grip. Really isolating those traps, your rear delts, the back of your shoulders. 18 more seconds here, 15 on the clock. 10 more seconds. Five, four, two more reps, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. Those aren't easy. Those are not easy. All right. Yes, ma'am. Seven seconds left here. Alternating staggered overhead squat in three, two, one, overhead. And we're dropping down 
to that staggered squat position. Again, the trick here is to lead with those hips moving down first. Again, 90% of your weight should be on that forward foot. That rear leg is just kind of like a kickstand for us. Ooh, 15 seconds of work. Good. Last 10. Drive up through that heel. Five. Those arms straight. Two. One. And time. 20 <laughs> seconds of rest here. I say that, but 20 seconds flies by compared to the amount of time that we are working for. <laughs> All right, opposite side here for that side plank. Last round, best round, let's get it team. We're up in three, best round. two, that's right. Last round, best round, here we go, we're up. 40 seconds here on the clock. But we don't think about that. We think about our elbow underneath our shoulder, that straight line from your head down to your neck, all the way down your spine to your hips, down to your heels. Keep it going here, team. You can raise that right hand up. You can gaze up at that right hand if it's your right side. <laughs> there you go. Nine more seconds. Eight, five, four, three, two, one, time. <laughs> all right, team. <laughs> it's all about having fun here. So I hope we are having a lot of fun with these workouts. That's the main goal here. Staying moving, staying active and staying fun while we're doing this. Having fun while we're doing this better. <laughs> so let us know how you did. How did you do? Was it tough? Was it easy? Were there different movements that you may not have tried before? I always like to say every day is a workout here. Uh, not only here within our BFIT Live, but also outside of this workout. We're, we're doing movements on a daily basis that we incorporate here within these BFIT Live programmed workouts. So if it's squatting, if it's getting up uh, from a chair, you know, we're resembling that same side of that same type of functional training. If it's reaching overhead, if you're picking up, uh, if you're picking up your kids or grandkids, you know, this is a movement that we are doing here on our programs with resistance. And you are also doing this outside of this BFIT Live segment. So these are all movements that we do on a daily basis. We may not think about these different movements you know, as actual workout movements, but they are functional. And with the right uh, cues, with the right form, you can adapt them into our live programs and really strengthen yourself week by week, day by day and uh, year by year. So we're in this for the long run here, thinking not everything happens overnight, but together we can get to that end result. Remember to write down those goals for this week. Write down your goals. Let's make sure and track them. The more you write them down, the more you'll see that they're visual on paper and they're easier to, uh, to accomplish now that they're right in front of you. So great work today. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing, ma'am? How was your workout? Yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Fantastic. Good work. I love to see the progress that each and every one of us are making uh, throughout these BFIT Lives. I know we only have two more weeks. Two, uh, aside from this Monday, next Monday is our last Monday to round out the year for 2020. So everyone join us. Feel free and share our, our, uh, our fitness programs here. If you're looking for any additional uh, workouts to get you through uh, this year and on to the next. Uh, we'll be right here with you every step, every rep of the way. If you're looking for new and exciting regimens, take a look at our Facebook uh, category under BFIT videos, and you'll see all of our previous BFIT live workouts that you can browse through. You can take at your own pace with your own resistance and challenge yourself and um, just add, it, you know, it, it adds to that creativity of not having to program yourself, but just follow along with us, myself, Roy, and uh, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. So uh, with that, uh, happy holidays. Uh, great holiday week, a great start to our week, a nice strong start. Any last words, Sergeant Berry, from you? 
Um, no, Mara, I just wanted to say maybe this year has been challenging, but I felt I can find a lot of silver linings. One of those is if you would have told me a year ago that I'd be really fit without stepping into the gym, I would have told you you're crazy. So um, this has been one of the blessings this year. Um, and so thank you and thank you to everyone who joins us and happy holiday. Yes, ma'am, I couldn't agree more with that statement. And I agree, it's just a matter of adapting and we can all do this together. One team, one fight, uh, be fit, uh, be, re re be ready, actually, be resilient, and let's stay fit together, guys. Uh, be fit, signing off here. <laughs>